So what is service design? Well, imagine you took two restaurants, one restaurant on one side of the street and one restaurant on another side of the street. What is it that makes the difference between those two? Why is it that one restaurant will have hundreds of people queuing around the block, desperate to be in there, while the other one's empty most of the day? And why is it that that one restaurant will grow to serve millions of people around the world, whilst the other one will just stay on that one street? Well, let's take a look at them in detail. Let's first look at the first restaurant, which is run by a really passionate chef, someone who really understands their cooking and loves what they do. And suppose they invest their life savings into buying a lease for this restaurant. They hire some waiter st waiting staff and they build out you know, a nice kitchen, the kind of kitchen they've always wanted. They launch it, maybe they do a, a promotion, an opening evening. And then of course, people will tell people, right? That's how it works. Well, maybe and maybe not. So now let's look at the other restaurant, the other restaurant that's really applying service design thinking and turning it into a practical reality there. Now suppose actually rather than spending their life savings, the also passionate chef thinks about bringing in a few people and really understanding what it is that potential customers need, what they want, what do they desire, what is it that they want to get out of that experience. And suppose they prototype some small things just to see what works. Suppose that when they launch, they actually start with a, a certain type of menu and then they test a few different dishes out. They see what, pe see what people like and they see what people don't. And suppose they realise that actually people also want to have food in the convenience of their own home and they can't always travel to the restaurant. So maybe they prototype actually a delivery service. And maybe they try some other things, like actually they know what the best restaurants are across the city. So maybe they could come to put together a, a bit of a service that curates all of those restaurants into one place and serves more and more people and so on and so forth. And then suppose actually behind the scenes, what they really focus on is what is it that people can do and what can technology do? What are the right processes that you put in place? What is it that you, can, you have on the back stage that also ensures that the customer gets the right experience? That's really what service design thinking is because it's actually not just thinking about uh, one way to launch a business but there's actually a complete mindset shift into thinking about how do we prototype things out small, how do we test things, how do we continuously improve things such that the customer gets what they want and also the business is designed in such an efficient and effective way that it can really really deliver it. So let's go back to those two restaurants. Why is it that one will remain on that street and the other may possibly take over the world? Well that's exactly what happens when you can apply service design to your business that's exactly what we're going to do today. So welcome to the world of service design.